and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be doing level 60 to 61 crafting on all eight crafts. And as always, hello from Ifri. So I've spent time, I've looked at the options that we have, and basically the best option I've determined is basically to do the um, turn-ins for the Grand Company every day, basically. I was just saying that four times. And um, so I'm doing those now every day. I'm going to do them every single reset. And um, Stormblood only came out a few hours ago. So I'm trying to get this done before the first reset. Now you might find it's expensive to do and la la la. But we are going to see in this video how much EXP they give. Obviously you only want to turn in high qualities. Now um, at this point in time. Because I know the question will come up. Collectibles are not an option. Because you need to do the 61 crafts and they require materials we don't even have yet so uh, even if they give great exp we don't have these materials so forget it sort of thing later on when i do the higher level stuff then i will say about doing those crafts and um as well leave quests in heaven's ward not worth doing they've been capped now to 3k exp each it's not worth doing the exali it's not worth doing the moogles for the same reason they only give 10k a quest each so for now what i'm going to do every single day is simply the grand company turn-ins every single day and that's it and all high qualities turn-ins now i'm going to sh quickly show you the macro rotation i will link it i will paste actually the macro in the description below um, that i'm using to high quality these items now when you look at my gear stats I never actually got that far in terms of gearing up in Heavensward. I didn't feel a need to. So I'm still wearing like chimerical gear and serpent skin gear. I mean, fine, it's, you know, it's fully melded, but I didn't get that high. So my cra my stats are 781 craftsmanship, 722 control. And using the baked onion soup food, I've got 443 CP. So that's all you need. And of course, do yourself a favor when crafting these items by getting as many high quality materials as possible so you can get to 100 percent so i've made everything else i just now now need to make a noble codex so let's look for it now so noble codex i need to switch to my alchemist so noble codex select all the high quality mats and this is like i said i'm only going to do this every day while i'm leveling up my main and working through the main story of storm blood okay so here's part one of the macro Let's get it done. Because I'm sure you guys have been waiting and relying on me for these sort of videos. And I am going to make a separate series talking about the um, gathering as well. Gathering is different. It's not all the same as crafting. There are different options for gathering, so, which I will go through in the gathering video. If you like my content on YouTube, remember to subscribe. I feel I don't say that enough. And if you feel this video will be useful for other people, please spread it around. I make these videos to help everyone. Because the more crafters we have in the game who are top level, the more thriving the economy will be. The better it is for every player. Simple as that. So, yeah. So, I like that my macros still work. Of course, now I'm going to have to make a completely new set of macros because there is new skills going into um, by end game in Stormblood, but I will make new um, videos to cover that. So you see, now I've got all of my turn-ins ready for uh, crafting. So let me go to the Grand Company and we'll simply see how much EXP they give. You know, hopefully they'll give a lot. You can see that just making that item got me 56,000 EXP. So we'll see, we'll see. You know, and one thing I'm going to do as well, uh, something you can do if you haven't done it already, you can pick up foods, really cheap foods. Like for example, this buffalo milk. It, they cost four gil each from a vendor in uh, Jewel Grozia in um, Ishgard. And they will give you that 3% EXP boost. So why not? But of course, use them when you're doing the turn in, not while you're doing the crafting. Don't overwrite your thing if you still need to craft more items. So, okay. So we're at the Grand Company. Hopefully these will give in a lot of materials. And the good thing is as well about the turn-ins for the Grand Company is that they have a different timer to your daily resets for dungeons. So, for example, the daily reset for dungeons right now reset in about an hour and a half from now at the time of recording the video. But the turn-ins for the crafts don't reset for another six and a half hours. So it is on a different schedule, so you don't have to worry about it. Anyway, let's turn in the items. So, Undertake Supply. Cool. And as before, guys, because these are starred and they're highly in need, they will give bonus EXP. So look at these EXP amounts. Look at them. 400 to a million each. 
So, like I say, do these every single day. Every day. And even if you do nothing else for crafting and gathering, do these every single day. So, let's turn in. But, hang on, sorry, it's not, not the... Because I've got one that I actually use. Let's hand over. Hand over. And because, remember, it doubles because I've got the... Um, it's high quality. So look at that. So I've now got 936,000 EXP for my carpenter. And which means that if it's 900k initially, um, that it's going to be nearly 2 million for the other ones. So again, 900k. Like to put it in perspective, the levels require about, you can see here, 4.47 million to get to 61. So this, it will get you nearly a quarter of the way there in one turn in. So let's do this now for this one. Let's turn in. And fine, it can be an expensive grind, but it is definitely, definitely worth it. Look at these numbers. So again, 900k. In fact, I'm going to switch to my um, goldsmith now, just so you can see the EXP bar fill in. So goldsmith, turn in, undertake supply and provisioning missions, and also get, it'll get you lots of seals. So why not? Turn in, hand over, yes. Look, so that's now doubled. So that will give me, look, more than a third of a level, nearly half a level from one turn in. Isn't that absolutely insane? So I can't stress it enough, guys. Do this every single day. You'll be 70 everything before you know it. Simple as that. And we're going to do gathering at the same time because I want to make sure that I can gather the new materials without having to rely on other people. Simple as that. So I will link, I will type all of this up in the description of the video um, and the macro and everything to help you guys out to get started. And it will take you probably an hour a day to, to do this. So as I say, initially just do this. Don't do leaves, don't do um, collectibles, and don't do the Moogle or Exali quests. They're not worth it compared to this. And just do them every day. It's not a race. So, you know three or four more days and i'll be 61 without even trying so anyway guys that's it for this video thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from mifri bye guys